situation you know when you first started out too you play the big concert then you'd always find a club mm -hmm. to go play with the band and I'm thinking then you grew and grew and the audience are bigger and bigger now you're going into a facility that has 1600 1800 seats how does that feel for you? Is that more intimate? I mean, you're nervous about playing that size club in yeah, Vegas? It, it does make you a little more nervous because there's it's fun, stadiums and arenas are you know and all, huge audiences are fun, but you can also you so, sort of feed off of that energy in sort of a a more gross way. I mean, in a bigger way instead of a, sort of a smaller way where you can get one on one contact with somebody and you sort of sing to people and you get that energy. I mean, it, it's, you still get plenty of energy both ways, but there is there is sort of a more behind the veil a little bit when when you when you're in a, such an intimate environment and people are really sitting and listening, and you can really have conversations musically with people instead of just sort of yelling at people and having a big party. And you can see them. And you can see them, which is which is kind of scary too, because you you know there's there's something to be said for being sort of getting lost in the spotlight in a big crowd and just sort of losing your inhibitions a little bit and having fun and getting caught in sort of a conducive environment. But when you're in such a small room and you can see everybody, it, it, uh, it forces you to sort of be a little more intimate. So I'm looking forward to that and seeing what that brings out in faith and uh, in performance, performance wise. Because it's been a long time since we've done anything like that. Hi, Tim. Skip Mahaffey. I'm the janitor here. The. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> Keep your bucket close to that guy. <laughs> exactly. So uh, the, when you look at the list of the uh, nominees for the CMA this, this year, you see so many people that are new names for the first mm -hmm. time. Talk to me about what do you think they're going through right now, and also who do you see that you just go, this guy's got it, and you have a CD in, in the truck? Well, you know, gosh, there's so many great artists out now that's really pushing the country music agenda. That's really, I think, to me, country music sort of feels like it's going through that sort of new energy that it went through in, in the early 90s when it was just really, really cresting on a wave and, and doing really well. And I think it's because of the music that's been made. It's all fresh. It's all new. There's a great new crop. I mean, I love Jason Aldean. I mean, uh, uh, Luke, I like a, a whole lot. Um, there's, there's a, God, I'm terrible with names, but the, the girl that sings the song about Mary go around, Musgrave. Okay, so I really like that song a lot. So, I mean, there's a lot of great music out there that, that I'm really enjoying. So I, I feel confident that they're, you know, the new bunch of guys keeps everything stirred up for all of us. And they're nervous right now, I'm sure. Uh, Tim, uh, as far as touring with Kenny, again, uh, you did this about a decade ago, and now you're back in stadium tours. What was it like compared to about 10 years ago? Well, I, I, I think that neither one of us probably would have ever thought that 10 years on or 20 years on into careers that we would be doing this at this level still. And I, you know, I think what was great about this summer is, you know, there's a lot of, and I don't want this to sound, how do I say it, there's a lot of times you can go see sort of two artists that team up together or two bands that team up together that, and go play music that are great shows, but, you know, they, 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 they're sort of later on in their career or they're sort of, you know, they're past, they're doing the hits that they had 20 years ago, which everybody loves to see, but I think what was cool for this summer is, you know, Kenny and I feel like we're at the top of our game and to be able to go out together and, and be right at the, the peak of our careers and to do a show together like that was something that we thought the fans really, really was rare for them to see. And that's why we enjoyed it so much and we could we would look at each other and couldn't believe we were, you know, we remembered sitting in an apartment playing guitars and not being able to buy dinner. You know. Tim, are you dressing up for Halloween, you and the family? What are you gonna I'm be? dressing up like a country singer. 
That's pretty good. No, I, I'm I'm busy. I'm working that night. I think some of you guys will be there. So. Gotcha. Can you describe for us what a Thanksgiving dinner is like at the McGraw household? It's uh, me doing not much of anything, and Faith making turkey and cornbread dressing and butter beans, all the stuff that comes out of her parents' garden too. She makes butter beans and all that peas, and, and I sit and watch football and get fat. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And apple pie, too. That's even better. We just had a bunch of that out here. I love it. Well, everybody, please give Mr. Tim McGraw a round of applause.